What's up guys? We're back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we're the Mermaid Gang. I am your favorite YouTuber and your favorite manifestation coach. So if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever's between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign up for coaching with me below. Okay, so my third video for this week was gonna be money manifestation success stories, which I'm still gonna do. I'll probably do that one next. But, why is my earring just violating me like that? Okay. But, I read something on Twitter. Someone said to me that you guys are being told that you have to be in the knowing to manifest. The knowing. Doesn't that sound so like deep and intellectual? The knowing. Or some kind of like spiritual state like some kind of deep i don't know <laughs> to me this is like the knowing you have to be in the knowing i know they're i know what they're fucking saying i know they're saying you have to know what's gonna happen mm. okay well since this channel is about my experience i'm gonna tell you i've never known or been in the knowing before it manifested so please don't think that if you don't feel like you know it's gonna happen aka you don't already believe it's gonna happen please don't think that's gonna stop it from manifesting because it's not because what manifests is consistency in the same fucking thought i don't know how many times i gotta say this i guess i guess it's because i mean the people that are saying this clearly you're not watching my videos or if they do they don't like them which not my problem i'm here to tell you my viewers who may have seen this or heard this somewhere you do not have to be in the knowing now you can be in the knowing of if i am consistent in affirming this if i am consistent in repeating this thought and saturating my mind it is going to manifest. Now that's a good knowing to be in because I mean, if you've had any successful manifestations and you can pretty much bet that you could know that if you were to do what needs to be done to manifest, that it will manifest. You can know that you can be in the knowing of that, but it is not a simple thing for people to be in the knowing of receiving something that they've never had or experiencing something that they've never experienced. And therefore, this is why I say the consistency, the repetition of the same thought, what you're feeding your subconscious is what matters. I have never known and this brings me to the uh, this new trendy law of expectancy thing this is just a fucking law of assumption first of all stop making these these new names and thinking you're doing something unique to get views because it's a law of assumption bitch it's a law of assumption but you don't have to be in the knowing or the expectancy of receiving your manifestation to get it not one manifestation did i i guess this is kind of like neville's sabbath i've never been in the sabbath i am someone who literally affirms until my reality reflects what i want i don't stop i don't let go i don't try to see if i'm in the knowing because i'm not if i don't see it then i'm unhappy with the reality and that means that i need to keep affirming if i don't see it if my 3d is not reflecting what i want i need to affirm again okay because that's just how it is for me that is how i see it that is why the sabbath letting go um none of that shit ever resonated with me also a lot of the stories that you hear about that the manifestation takes fucking years or months or just a long ass time like it eventually came 90% of those stories are people who let go or we're in the knowing or we're in the Sabbath mm -hmm. and we're just okay with that shit taking forever no 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 see 
and for me you can do whatever you want i'm just this is my channel and i'm gonna tell you from my experience my entire channel is based on my experience i don't stop affirming for something until i see it and i have never once with any successful manifestation been in the knowing before it showed up i just kept affirming I don't worry about if I'm in the knowing. I don't worry about if I'm in the Sabbath. I don't worry about anything. I don't even give a fuck about signs and synchronicities. It means nothing to me. I will not stop being consistent in my affirming until my manifestation has fully formed, fully manifested, and then when I feel like it's a normal thing in my reality and I expect it then, after it's manifested, expect it to be there, then I naturally stop affirming because I don't even consider it a desire anymore. You will naturally get to that point. Naturally. Too many people are trying to see if they're in the knowing, if they're in the Sabbath, if they believe. Don't fucking worry about it. You'll believe it when it shows up. Just keep affirming. This law has been made so complicated for no reason. It is not this hard. The only reason people have made it hard is because they one, don't fucking understand it, or two, need to keep coming up with quirky, unique content so they can keep getting views. They're making up laws and methods and all kind of shit just to keep their views going, keep their clients coming, whatever they need to do. When if they really understood the fucking law, then all they would have to do is affirm for a successful business and always have great videos and that would be all it takes. You would not need to put in all this work creating all these new rules, all these new teachers putting up all these fucking hoops for you guys to jump through constantly. There are no hoops. There are no rules. The law has been the same for eternity. It has never changed and it never will change. And nobody is editing it and adding a new fucking algorithm to it. Nobody. Nobody. There is nothing but the law of assumption. Whatever you saturate your mind with is what you're going to experience in your reality. Period. That's why affirmations work without fail. When you change your thoughts, your reality fucking changes because that is all it is. That is all it is. There is no new thing. It's not changeable. It is not changeable. It's not a fucking Wikipedia page where you can go on there and edit that shit and change the information. It can't be changed. That is how it is so annoyed with all these new laws and rules and hoops to fucking jump through. No hoops. Burn the hoops. <laughs> it's just what it is. What you consistently think is what you will experience. There is no knowing you have to be in. There is no certain feeling you have to be in. There is no you don't have to let it go. There's no such thing as obsessively affirming. There's no such thing as affirming too much. There's no... All oh, that is bullshit. It's just bullshit. It's just... They're running out of content. That's it. They're just running out of content. And then one person comes up with it and then a bunch of people jump on it because it's something new. There is no new way to this law. It is unchangeable. It is unchangeable. The law is what it is. It is the law of assumption. And regardless is if Neville is the one who named it that, that is probably the most accurate name aside from it's the law of whatever the fuck you're thinking all the time. And if that name wasn't so long, that's what we would rename it to. <laughs> because that is what it is. Without fail, that is how you manifest. That is how I've manifested every single thing and continue to manifest every single thing. That is the one. I have tried all the methods and all the fucking hoops and none of it worked until I just started affirming, changing my thoughts and being consistent. Saturating my mind with the reality that I want or saturating my mind with the idea that I already had, the thing that I want, however you want to say it whatever your desire is, it doesn't matter. You do not have to be in the knowing. 
There are no rules. There are no qualities for you to meet. All you have to do is change your thoughts. That's literally it. It's just changing your thoughts. It's just thinking as if the person you want to be. What does the person you want to be think like? What are the thoughts of that person? What would you tell your friends? What would you tell your mom? Your who? What would you tell your whoever the person that you tell your business to? What would you tell them if this thing were true in your life? That's it. Just think it over and over and over and over and over and over <laughs> until it manifests. I don't stop affirming until my shit manifests. Nothing. I have never let a single thing go. And the, when I first started with the law of attraction, I did. And when I tell you, I still ain't seen that shit. The specific manifestations like that I was like practicing with and I would do everything they said to do and then let it go. Cause you have to let it go. Never happened. I affirm until my shit starts showing up. And then I keep affirming until I naturally just stop affirming, which brings me to another point. Um, everything comes natural. Everything comes natural. When you start thinking as the as that person, you are changing your state. That means your thoughts and feelings and your reality are all going to change. So if you're worried about being one person, if you're worried about like thoughts that you have, like maybe you have a problem with opposing thoughts. If you'll keep being consistent and thinking as the person that has what you want, the more you saturate your mind with that, with having that, the thoughts will naturally go away. Because the more you repeat something, the more your mind becomes familiar with it. And the more you put yourself into the new state of the person that has it. And therefore, in that state, those thoughts don't exist. They will naturally go away. Everything will naturally happen. You don't have to do anything, nothing. You don't have to do anything except for think as if you already have what you want. That is it. That's literally all you gotta do. You don't have to do anything else, nothing, nothing. You don't have to expect it. You don't have to be in the knowing. You don't have to do none of that shit, none of it. You just have to think as the person you wanna be. You just have to think as if you have what you want. That's it. I know it sounds too simple to be true, but it is. It is so simple and it has been so overcomplicated. One, because I think people can't fathom that it could just be that simple, but it is. And two, because like I said, people just need more and more content. So they just keep creating more and more bullshit to feed you guys. And here's, at the end of the video, they're like, oh, sign up for coaching with me to figure out how to do whatever the fuck I just told you you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? It's bullshit. It's just bullshit. Just think as if you have what you want, okay? I've never been in the knowing before something manifested. I just kept affirming until it did. I don't worry about any of that. I don't even think about it. Am I in the knowing? Do I believe? I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Keep affirming. Keep affirming. Is it in your reality yet? Then keep affirming. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.